everybody. Thank you, SME, for the opportunity, and it is my pleasure to uh, speak with you today. My name is Mohsen Seifi. I'm Director of Global Added Manufacturing Programs at ASG International. Last month, we announced our first ever established center of excellence in the history of ASD International and perhaps any other SDOs. And this is a strong and huge step toward enabling manufacturing innovation and accelerating commercialization of added manufacturing. The COE uh, that we announced support our activities in pre-standardization as well as the standards development. And here's why. We believe AM standards development uh, and advancements are not happening fast enough to keep up with the pace of uh, rapid pace of AM technology development. In addition, current ad hoc approach results in standards gaps and duplication, inconsistent standards uh, R&D across industries and geographies, no dedicated workforce to drive R&D uh, for standards development, and finally, lack of global acceptance of standards. And that's why we have created ASTM Added Manufacturing Center of Excellence to address this need to bridge the standards development with R&D to better enable efficient development of standards, but also supporting education and training, certification and proficiency testing programs. The COE conducts standards-related R&D to advance technical and data-driven standards across all aspects of AM and AM markets. Fast-track standards development can be accomplished through the COE and ultimately accelerate adoption of cost-efficient added manufacturing technologies across the industry. Our selected partners have passed an extreme review process. Based on the re recommendation of diverse review panel, EWI, Auburn University, and NASA have been selected from a large pool of candidates and applicants. To complement this mix, uh, we will announce the winner of another COE partner next month outside of the US. And here are the rules of each of the partner in the COE that you can see. ASTM will continue to serve as a facilitator of the standards development and coordination, coordinator of R&D. We will utilize existing roadmaps, such as the one that ANSI in America makes put together known as an AMSC roadmap. In fact, more there is a public meeting regarding uh, the latest status of this roadmap. EWI is building industry, standard-focused industry consortia to identify the needs of various sectors, such as aerospace, medical, and automotive and other industry sectors. In addition to research and development, Auburn University will develop education and training programs. And finally, NASA is providing their vast expertise in conducting R&D for standardization and certification in the aerospace and aviation sector. In terms of mechanism, here's how it works. COE will be supported by AST International, industry consortia, and government funding. R&D development planning happens across all four organizations with ASTM coordination. R&D will be conducted at EWI and Auburn University to feed into standard development process and finally implementation by industry use certification, training, and proficiency testing programs. So with that, uh, I'll stop here indicating that in addition to myself, Frank Medina from EWI, Mike Ogles from Auburn University, and Kristen Morgan from NASA will be attending this meeting and available to, uh, for whoever you would like to stay in touch and hear more about this uh, activity. Thank you very much.